Hello YouTube, this video is regarding a quick fix to enable guest additions on Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. So let's get started here. So the, I just want to show you the version I have here. Maybe it should be helpful for you with the, any version this and beyond. So right now my version here is 4.2.12 release 84980 so with that so first thing i'm gonna import uh, the virtual machine image so the one i have here is a uh, centos uh, distribution of linux which i downloaded from cloudora.com so that image comes uh, with uh, pre-installed uh, hadoop uh, packages so let me click here get there this is my image so click on next here and before I move further I just want to adjust my memory here because I don't have this much of space this much of memory available so I'm going to reduce that to 2.5 gigs so I believe 2560 is the right number 2.5 gigs then click on import so this import will take a while so we'll join back again when the percentage is around 80 ish and then resume so we are almost getting done here uh, should be done pretty soon with the import So the next step is to uh, add a CD DVD drive to this thing before even we start. So right click on this uh, image settings, go to storage and we're gonna click this. We can either choose existing image which is basically the virtual box guest additions uh, distribution that is there in one of the drives but I don't want to search that around I leave that empty attach click OK and then we will get started so the machine is starting now but since this is a very first start this particular distribution from Cloudera has a lot of uh, initial scripts uh, that run to set up Hadoop uh, uh, install. So this will take pretty much long. So we'll pause here again and join back when I see the machine is fully up. All right, we are back here. The boot up process is just completed. So the first thing you see with this specific distribution is this pop-up uh, this for Cloudera uh, Hadoop distribution so I'll just minimize this thing for the moment here so as you can see since you don't have mouse and keyboard integration this is the pop-up you would always see from VirtualBox software so you are switching between your virtual machine and your host machine in this case uh, Windows 7 so the mouse works either just with virtual machine or the host machine so we'll for now we'll just click on capture so as you can see I just can't go out of my mouse pointer out of this box so it works for now only with virtual machine so we'll minimize that so we are gonna import I mean rather install the try we, this is the first attempt just to see what error you would see when you install the guest addition so I want to get to this menu for this uh, virtual machine itself which is devices as you can see I just can't leave this box uh, I can't touch devices so to get back there I'll click control button you can notice in the corner I am out of this gets uh, grayed out again when 
I'm using this mouse with the virtual machine that gets again green sort of thing. Anyway, so I'm out of the machine now. Click on devices. I would click on install guest additions. And it will have auto run feature available there. So we'll go ahead with auto run. Click capture again to get our mouse. Click OK. Click run. As expected, it needs a root authentication. So in this case, the password is Cloudera itself. And this first attempt is not going to be successful and this is just to show you what errors you would see. So as you can see there is one failed message. It is looking for one specific package and it also has some clue about how this can be fixed. So maybe this is another way to you know look for what's happening. So as you can see the highlighted stuff it has failed message and it is trying to install this uh, specific package kernel devil 2632220 whatever that and the version it is looking for is this 64 bit uh, CentOS uh, Linux distribution so let's capture this copy this and this video is a quick and dirty fix for uh, you know enabling guest additions uh, you might want to you know take a very uh, investigative route but uh, that's how I fix my issue so anyway having said that uh, I have captured that package name so now it says uh, return press return to close this window we'll just close this window for now and what I'm going to do is go to internet and we'll search for this specific package let me expand this so you can see what i'm searching for so click on this binoculars so this is the first entry i hit here rpm.pbone.net i believe that will take us to the right package so let's click on that and it says this kernel devil rpm build is for scientific linux 6 but it has worked for me even though this is centos distribution so with that i'm clicking on this ftp link and while we are downloading this package it also has an option to uh, open with specific uh, things it detected that the dot rpm is a kind of package it can be installed so I'll go ahead and click OK so right after it's done installing it will try to I mean right after it's done downloading it will try to install that uh, package So click on install It's doing some checks here and now it's prompting for the root password. So we'll again give the same password cloud error.
all right the package install is over so i did not complain any errors or issues so we are good here so let's close this window and minimize this thing since we first attempted to install from the cd cd is already mounted here so we need to give second attempt by this time going to the terminal and go to that uh, cd folder so before i move further i want to do this as a root uh, user so type su then give the password for the root and you might be wondering su without any username is assumed that it is uh, the root user that you want to log in as so that you can also confirm looking at what user you are here root at localhost so we are gonna switch to this cd folder do ls here so you see this folder so cd there do ls again so we need to run this particular piece using sh command that's a shell command so sh v that's what we need to run and this time fingers crossed it should be successful and after that we'll have the mouse and keyboard integration seamlessly between the host and guest machine so we'll give it some time here So this itself is an indication since it's taking longer here before throwing an error means something is happening right so it is able to do the build of uh, main guest additions module. So whatever the previous step that was failing has been successful this time. All right, so we have got all OKs here as you can see. We started from here. Everything has went successfully. You can notice all the green stuff here. So now, uh, if you can notice, I can easily go out of this virtual machine and back into the machine without ever needing to press the right control button here so with this we have enabled uh, mouse integration as well as keyboard and before we we are almost done but there are a couple more things that are very helpful for you know playing with the virtual machines on uh, vbox virtual manager so these are the those two things you want to enable your clipboard when you copy and paste stuff between uh, virtual machine and host you know that becomes pretty easy so i would choose bi-directional here and i will also choose drag and drop so i can you know copy files from host to guest machine although uh, it doesn't work yet uh, moving files from guest to host just like just with a drag and drop although there are you know workarounds to do that so quick copy paste try here so i'm typing this
on my host machine so I type this copy this I should be able to paste this easily on my guest machine so let me launch a note pad stuff here so it's a G edit so right click I should be able to paste that okay it didn't happen because we have one more reboot to do to make all these changes effective that's why I didn't make that copy so I'm going to quickly reboot this machine and we'll get back on again so for now I'll pause this recording all right so our machine has been rebooted and it's right now waiting on this some reload here so we'll just minimize this for now my mouse is still seamlessly working see if I still have that so this is the uh, notepad you're trying so I think I still have that in buffer copy so click applications accessories notepad equivalent here all right you can see i'm able to copy in host machine and paste on the guest machine i want to do the other way around this line okay I'm able to paste so that is that test is successful so the last thing I want to show you is how you can drag and drop a file from your host machine onto the guest machine so let's close this temporary thing here without saving and let me save the notepad on the Windows side save as I think I had something existing here. I'll overwrite that. Yes. So now going back to my drive here. So this is the file that we saved. As you can see, I'll put these two things side by side so you can see better. So I can simply drag and place anywhere on the desktop on the guest machine see successful so double click this it opens up in gedit those two lines are still there so that ends the quick dirty fix of enabling guest additions and also the clipboard and file share drag and drop thank you for watching this video